I've described the, the Coke can of uranium providing enough energy for your entire life. What about the other materials used to build a nuclear power plant or to build a solar farm? Now you remember with the solar farm I showed you there was the panels, but then there was the large amounts of plastic and piping that was required going under the water. So there are scientific studies that measure how much materials are used to create solar farms and to create wind farms and to create nuclear plants. Well, it turns out that it takes 17 times more materials to create solar panel farms than it does nuclear farms. What materials am I talking about? I'm talking about cement, steel, concrete, that all of those materials have to go somewhere so they all become waste. Well, so we hear so much about the nuclear waste. We, you would think there is a lot of nuclear waste or that it's spread everywhere. Nuclear waste is the only waste from energy production that is captured and contained within nuclear plants. It means that from fossil fuel production, the waste goes into the air and becomes air pollution and kills 7 million people a year. With the solar panel waste, well, I'll show you. So nuclear waste, you would think there's a lot of it. This is all of the waste from the Swiss nuclear program for 45 years. The Swiss, I give the example of Switzerland because I think they have about as much nuclear as Taiwan does. So in a, in a room, and this is, you can see the person here to give you some, some, some scale here. In a single room, about a, the size of a basketball court, you can fit all of your nuclear waste. So this is the best kind of waste. I, every waste problem that human beings create is a bigger problem than this. We have oceans of floating plastic that destroy aquatic life. Every form of waste is worse than nuclear waste. And that goes for solar panel waste. I used to think, well, I didn't really think about it. I used to have a vision that we would all have solar panels on our roof and electric cars in the driveway. I didn't think about what would happen to the solar panels after they stopped working. And by the way, they, they're, they're unlike nuclear, the solar panels produce less energy every year, about a half a percent. So after 20 or 25 years, people don't want to use them anymore. What's, what's, what responsibility are we taking for these products? What is Greenpeace's proposal to do with all of the solar panel waste? Well, you might wonder, there can't be, how much solar panel waste could there be? There couldn't be very much, could there? It turns out there's two to three hundred times more solar panel waste per unit of energy than nuclear. Well, well how, how, how dangerous could a, new, a solar panel be? It doesn't look very dangerous. In fact, every solar panel contains toxic heavy metals, lead, cadmium, chromium, and unlike the radioactivity of nuclear waste, the toxicity in the heavy toxic metals in solar panels never declines because they're elements. They just are always toxic. And so people say, well, that's okay, we'll recycle them. Every study finds that it is not cost effective to recycle solar panels. All of the energy you have to use to put the panel in there, it makes the solar panels even less cost effective. It's just cheaper to buy the raw silicon, lead, cadmium, and chromium and make a new solar panel. So this is maybe one of the most least discussed toxic waste crises in the world, although finally now the alarm is being